Here we are asked to calculate the area of this triangle here in blue color. Is it even possible? Well, starting from this here, we can see it is a quadrilateral. Three of its angles, which you can see here, here, and here, are right angles. And definitely, the fourth one, even if you aren't told, must be a right angle. Because summation of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree. And 360 degree minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 is 90 degree. There are two types of quadrilateral which have all four angles to be 90 degree, which are square and direct angle. But keep that aside for now. We have this side here to be 400 millimeters in length. Here we can see that this side and this side are equal in length. Let's label them R. So how can we calculate the area of the blue triangle now? The formula for calculating the area of a triangle we know is half base times height. So what are the base and the height of the triangle? We don't know. We don't even have the length of any of its sides. But from this triangle here, since this is a right angle, thereby making it to be a right angle triangle, we can use the Sokatua to find the length of this side here. Let's assume the length of the side is P. So from this angle X here, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, and this here is the longest side, that is the hypotenuse, which is facing the right angle. From this here, CAH means cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Theta is this angle X here. Adjacent is 400 millimeters and hypotenuse is P. So cos X equal to 400 millimeters over P. P is our target here. We make it the subject of the formula by dividing both sides by cos x and multiplying both sides by p. Here, cos x over cos x is 1 and p times 1 is p. Here, p cancels p. So, p equal to 400 millimeters over cos x. But what is the size of this angle x here? Well, we have to calculate it from here. This shape here we know is either a square or a rectangle. One of the common properties of a square and a rectangle, opposite sides are parallel. That is, this side and this side here are parallel. This line here is a transversal line intersecting both. And a transversal line between two parallel lines form alternating angles with the parallel side, which are equal. That is, this angle and this angle here are equal. So this is also 4x. But since the whole angle is 4x, and we have this to be x, the remaining part here will be 4x minus x, which is 3x. Here also, to find the size of this angle here, we can as well draw a line parallel to this and this side here, from this point to this point. Coming down here, this line here is a transversal between this and this, that is this and this are alternate angles. Therefore, this is also 2x. Coming back here, this is also a transversal between this and this side here. That is, this and this are alternating angles, so therefore this also x. Now if we take off this line, this whole angle is 2x plus x, which is 3x. You can see that this angle is also 3x. What type of a triangle has two congruent angles? It's an isosceles triangle. That is, this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, we have the two base angles. The vortex angle, the base which is facing the vortex angle, and the legs which are equal in length. So therefore, this side and this side here are equal in length. Let's label them Q each. Now look at this triangle here and this triangle. Both right angles, they have the same length for the hypotenuse, which is Q. And one of the other side of this has the same length as this side of this triangle. And that fulfills one of the criteria for judging the congruency of two triangles. There are five criteria of which, if any is met between two triangles, the triangles are congruent. One of which is the RHS here. R means both triangles must have a right angle. H means both must have the same length for the hypotenuse. And S means one of the two other sides for each must be equal to the same length. That proves that these two triangles here are congruent. If two triangles are congruent, we know that all three corresponding sides are equal in length, and similarly, 
all three corresponding angles are equal in sizes. That is, this side and this side here are equal. And as for the angles, this must be 2x and this must be 4x because they are congruent. Now from this triangle here, since the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree, if we add up the angles and equate to 180 degree, now 90 plus 4x plus 2x equal to 180 degree. 4x plus 2x is 6x. Taking 90 degree to the other side, 6x now equal to 180 minus 90 degree, which is 90 degree. So 6x equal to 90 degree. Dividing both sides by 6, here 6 cancels 6, and here 90 degree over 6 is 15 degree. So x equal to 15 degree. Substituting here now, 3 times 15 degree is 45 degree, 2 times 15 is 30 degree, and 4 times 15 degree is 60 degree. And if we substitute here also now, P equal to 400 millimeters over cos 15 degree, which if you press your calculator equal to 414.1105 millimeters. Substitute here. Now from this triangle here, since the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degree, this must be 180 degree minus 45 degree minus 45 degree, which is 90 degree. That even implies that it is an isosceles right angle triangle. When calculating the area of a right angle triangle, the base and the height are decided that are perpendicular to each other. So therefore, this and this are the base and the height. Letting this is the base and this is the height, base equal to Q and height equal to Q. Substituting here now, area equal to 1 over 2 times Q times Q, which is 1 over 2 Q squared. But what is Q? We don't know. But from this triangle here, we can use the so called one. From this here, sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Theta is 45 degree. Opposite is Q and hypotenuse is 414.1105 millimeters. Sine 45 degree equal to Q over 414.1105 millimeters. Making Q the subject, Q equal to sine 45 times 4.1105 millimeters which if you press your calculator, equal to 292.8203 millimeters. So Q equal to 292.8203 millimeters. Substituting here now, area equal to 1 over 2 times 292.8203 squared, which if you press your calculator, it will be equal to 42,871.86405 millimeters squared. So area of this blue triangle here, which we are asked to calculate, is 42,871.86405 mm squared. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also turn notification on.